our father of our diocese, Bishop Nicholas, has sent us a letter to be read in all the parishes today across the United States to talk about the importance of the Eucharist, the importance of our presence here at church on Sunday, and also the return to our life after um, whatever you want to call what we experienced the last year and a half. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the Eucharist is our lifeline. Without it, we cannot live. The Sunday Divine Liturgy is the community celebration of Christ in our midst, the event that unites us all together as the body of Christ. Celebrating the Eucharist is not just a commandment of the church, but an inner necessity. Christ sustains us. And without him, our lives are empty. It is time to return to full parish life with precautions and to come back to church weekly to participate in the Lord's banquet and receive him in Holy Communion by which we become the body of Christ. Participating in the Divine Liturgy is the best way to remember the Sabbath and to keep it holy. The third commandment from the Old Testament. The Lord himself rested after six days of creation and blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy. We read that in Exodus chapter 20. In the gospel account, we see Jesus observing the Sabbath by going to the synagogue and teaching there. We mirror the life of Christ by conforming to what Jesus himself did. At the Last Supper, Jesus commanded us to take and eat and drink and to do it in his memory. We find the, this in all the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and also in the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 11, verses 23 to 26. The Eucharist is our food on life's journey, filling us with joy and transforming us to be witnesses of Christ in the world. It has been a long and difficult year since March 2020. Many have experienced great pain and suffering during the pandemic. Many have died, and many are still recovering from the long-term effects of COVID-19. We honor the heroes, nurses, doctors, and all medical professionals who brought comfort along with priests who brought the sacraments of the sick to COVID patients. Now, as we trust in the Lord and with great confidence in the vaccines, our lives are opening up to more activity. It is time to return to the obligation of Sunday Divine Liturgy. Because our communities are scattered over many states, we still must follow the guidelines given to us in the areas where we live. Most states have opened up once again. Churches are included in the reopening. Our obligation to participate in worship at the Divine Liturgy is an obligation of love as well as a command of the Lord. Worshiping by, wa by watching a live stream liturgy is permissible only for those who are ill, have recently been exposed to COVID-19 or any other communicable disease. For those who are homebound or in hospitals or other healthcare facilities, those not yet vaccinated and those advanced of age, Holy Communion is to be provided by a visit of the priest or deacon. So please do call us and let us know who is sick and we are more than happy to go and visit. I recommend we continue live streaming our services for them. All our parishioners who are well and ambulatory need to be in church to receive the Eucharist. This obligation to return to Sunday Divine Liturgy attendance becomes effective June 27th, 2021. We look forward to welcoming all our faithful back to the celebration of Divine Liturgy after this long and difficult year. Most Reverend Bishop Nicholas J. Samra, Eparchial Bishop of Newton. So on behalf of myself as well, it's good to see your faces 
get to see you back in church, and uh, let us continue to plan for the future of our parish. I continue to pray for each and every one of us here present and for all family members at home.